Imagine that Earth's rotation stops one day and tomorrow never comes. Life will never be the same. But if you can escape to an underground bunker, you may have a chance to carry on normally. Our planet makes a rotation every 24 hours at a speed of 1040 miles per hour. This is faster than the speed of sound and several times faster than the fastest cars in the world. We don't feel it while it's rotating, but we will when the Earth suddenly stops. At the last second, you run into an underground bunker. You close the hatch, go deep underground, and hear the chaos that has begun on the surface. All the people, houses, cars, ships, roads, trees, animals, and topsoil, anything not connected to bedrock, will fly off to the east. Hurricanes and Sunamis will appear. The endless day brings huge global earthquakes, and volcanoes will awaken and erupt, threatening to destroy everything. Meanwhile, you're drinking tea and waiting in the bunker until the catastrophe ends. Two days later, you realize that silence has come to the surface. You go upstairs, open the hatch, and water flows inside the bunker. Great, your shelter is flooded. You swim to the surface and find yourself in the middle of the ocean. Fortunately, a big ship passes by with other survivors, and they take you on board. You're looking around and realize that the water seems to be almost everywhere on the planet now. Since the global stopping, the water on Earth has united into two oceans, the North and South, and all continents have become one, connected on the equator. You and the survivors sail for a very long time under the scorching sun. Then, night comes. Not because the day has finally ended, but because the ship has arrived at the other half of the Earth. The unbearable heat is replaced by terrible cold. You're finally approaching the equator and you can see land, but unfortunately, everything is frozen here on this side of the planet. All nature freezes and night never ends. It'll be very difficult to move around and get food. You need to find the land on the warm half of the planet. Weeks later, you arrive but find nothing except a desert. The temperature is so high that agriculture can't be created here. You start to worry that there's nowhere for you to go, but there is one area, the border between the hot and cold halves, that has ideal conditions for living. Places where you can watch the endless sunset or dawn. Biohythms are damaged due to the long bright day and the long dark night. This affects your psychological and physical development. Falling asleep takes a while, but overall, life is getting better. You build a house and start farming, but the temperature drops rapidly, making it colder and darker outside. This happens because the Earth is slowly spinning around the sun and the borders are shifting. To adapt, you build a motorhome and travel around the world, following the space between the hot and cold sides of the planet. You take long stops to enjoy sunsets and sunrises. One day, you hear a strange sound the sound of a storm. A big wave approaches, and you wonder what's happening this time. Well, the Earth's shape has changed. It has become more of a sphere or ball. Before, the Earth's shape was flattened due to fast rotation, with a wider equator and a slightly flattened circle shape. However, when the Earth stopped, it became perfectly round. As a result, the world's oceans change again, and floods become inevitable. Fortunately, you have a little boat and sail around the world once more. However, when you find land, you face another big problem, space radiation. The old magnetic field that protected us from solar winds, ultraviolet radiation, and radiation from space no longer works due to the Earth's rotation being halted. Without it, existence on the surface of the planet becomes impossible. It's time to go back underground. You hide in a new bunker with other survivors, digging tunnels and building underground cities. You only venture to the surface in special protective suits. Unfortunately, there is nothing left, no plants, trees or animal life. You have to grow wheat and plants in the underground city using artificial lights. However, things could be even worse if the Earth were to halt completely. If the Earth stops spinning around the sun, 
The sun's gravity would pull our planet so quickly that people won't have time to create a huge spacecraft for evacuation. Normally, our planet spinning around the sun is like riding a fast carousel, where getting too close to the center due to the high speed is not possible. Billions of years ago, the Earth rotated even faster, and days passed in 14 to 18 hours. Over time, the day length has been gradually increasing by about 2 milliseconds every 100 years. However, there is no possibility of time traveling to the past. If the Earth were to rotate backward, the continents and oceans would remain in their place, but the weather conditions would change significantly. Computer simulations suggest that deserts would replace the Amazon rainforest, Western Europe would become much colder, and Central Africa would be covered in lush forests and green fields. Dense trees, rivers, and lakes would appear in the Sahara Desert. You dream of living in a place with a very long day without catastrophes, where the sun is always warm, flowers are blooming, and people are happy. Such places did exist on the old Earth, close to the North Pole in Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Canada. These regions experience long sunny days due to the tilt of Earth's axis. The shortest polar day lasts almost two days, while the longest can stretch up to six months. However, a place where the sun always shines constantly does not exist on Earth, as night will eventually come. Before the Earth stopped rotating, you could visit the northern parts of these countries and enjoy a day lasting spring to autumn. However, tourists often suffered from insomnia falling asleep and waking up while the sun continued to shine. The locals, on the other hand, were accustomed to this lifestyle. They didn't follow a specific sleep schedule and rested when they felt the need. The endless sun provided plenty of vitamin D, energy, and productivity. But after the long day, a long night followed, which could potentially cause depression. To combat this, people in the north used skis, baths, and created a fabulous atmosphere with bells and lights, turning their streets, cafes, houses, and parks into a winter fairy tale to uplift their spirits. Perhaps if the Earth starts rotating again, you can visit these places in the future. You decide to go out for a morning jog, but as soon as you step outside, you feel an extraordinary lightness. At first, you enjoy it and speed up. However, you soon realize that something is wrong. You take off a heavy backpack that you've been carrying all your life. Suddenly, you realize that you're incredibly fast, almost like having a superpower. However, you notice another athlete running just as quickly as you. As you approach a puddle, you jump over it, but you jump so far and high that it feels physically impossible. Shocked, you fall to the ground, but realize you have no scratches and the ground feels lighter. You stop the music in your headphones and turn on the radio. All the news reports reveal that the gravity on the entire planet has decreased by half. Gravity keeps us grounded and prevents us from flying off into the sky. Now, due to some issue with the Earth's core, the mass of our planet has decreased, leading to this change in gravity. People happily run out of their houses jumping twice as high and far as before. Everything feels lighter, making parkour easier for everyone. Your own body weight has decreased, reducing the damage from falls. However, the joy is quickly replaced by panic as it becomes harder to breathe. The air has become lighter due to the reduced gravity, resembling an altitude of 16,500 feet. At first, Everyone experiences dizziness and panic from the lack of dense air. To solve this problem, people learn to breathe slowly and evenly, which helps to calm down. The reduced gravity leads to less stress, and people learn to live more balanced lives, savoring each day. Scientists develop unique oxygen masks that create denser air by putting pressure on oxygen molecules. Over time, people get used to the new conditions, and the masks are eventually discarded. New generations are born accustomed to these changes. The Earth's atmosphere expands, making the sky appear higher and taking on a darker hue. Satellites that were once in orbit are now within our atmosphere, but they are still attracted by Earth's gravity. Thousands of satellites burn up, causing a meteor shower as some space debris survives and falls to the ground. 
the impact damages houses, roads, trees, and cars. To wait out the storm, you and others seek shelter underground in the subway or basements. Fortunately, the shower doesn't last long, and people emerge from hiding to look at the sky in surprise. The moon changes position and slowly flies away, disappearing completely. Our planet becomes a heavy ball in the center of a gravity blanket that bends under its weight. Objects on the blanket roll down to Earth, but fast-moving objects can spin on the blanket's edge and not fall into the center. With decreased gravity, the moon can fly out of our gravitational field and potentially find a new home with stronger gravity. Without the moon, there will be no more tides, and the sea level will remain the same. People will experience changes in buoyancy and can swim faster. Car, plane, and ship weights decrease, leading to less gas consumption and easier transportation. Space tourism develops due to the decrease in gravity. During winter, snowflakes seem to hang in the air, and walking on ice becomes difficult due to decreased weight and weak foot pressure. Strong winds make it challenging to stay on your feet, and jumping may result in flying away. New speed limits are introduced globally due to reduced friction between wheels and roads. Over generations, the human body will evolve and adapt to these conditions, resulting in taller, bulkier individuals. Majestic tigers the size of trucks and flamingos the size of planes roam the city streets and skies. However, insects also increase in size, with regular cockroaches growing to the size of computer mice and tarantulas twice the size of adult palms. Despite the changes, all living beings become lighter in weight, and humans become elegant and agile creatures with stretched bones and muscles. The human body will undergo changes in structure, becoming thinner and smoother. Blood flow will slow down, affecting brain function initially. However, over time, the body will expand, the brain will increase, and there will be more neural connections. Lungs will become more sensitive and spacious, making people smarter and wiser. In this new world, all devices and materials will be developed to adapt to the new conditions. Objects like cups, pencils, plates, phones, and gadgets will become lighter and more fragile. Ordinary people entering this world will feel like superheroes, able to easily break through walls and doors and break bricks with their hands. However, they will seem small and clumsy compared to the new inhabitants. One day, while relaxing in your room and streaming music, the network suddenly goes down. Your sister bursts into your room in a panic, screaming about rings appearing in the sky. You go outside with her and see streaks of objects forming above the Earth's surface. The internet is filled with videos and hashtags about the sudden appearance of rings in the sky. You check the news on is limiting the sun's exposure on Earth, causing the rapid drop in temperature. The rings in the sky continue to grow in size and mass. The professor is trying to make sense of it all, but nobody knows the true cause of these events. There is a mystery surrounding the thickness of the rings on Saturn, which are made up of ice and rock particles. These rocks could be remnants of meteor debris or dwarf planets. However, on Earth, being close to the sun, we wouldn't have floating ice like that. The rocks in the rings block the sun's rays, leading to a potential ice age and depletion of oxygen levels within a year if the rings don't disappear soon. The professor explains that the rocks are also causing disruptions with satellites. Suddenly, a loud ringing noise is heard outside, and a helicopter with flashing lights instructs everyone to go home. You and your sister try to leave in your car but encounter traffic, so you proceed on foot, which will take two hours. The increasing thickness of the rings reduces sunlight, and the knowledge of the impending ice age adds to your sense of unease. You see a thin mist coming out of your mouth and realize how dark the sky is getting. After an hour of walking, you find an abandoned clothes shop. Inside, the store clerks are giving away thick jackets for everyone. You grab some and continue on, but it becomes too dark and dangerous to go further. You and your sister decide to camp in the shop, starting a bonfire for warmth and creating makeshift sleeping bags with the extra clothes. Luckily, there is enough food for everyone. In the middle of the night, the fire goes out, 
And when you open the window, a huge pile of snow spills in, signaling the formation of a snowstorm. Despite it being the middle of August, the snowstorm leaves everyone freezing, prompting them to start the fire again. With no radio or communication, you are left in the unknown as the wind shakes the shop and things start falling off. You and everyone else are cozy by the fire as the next day you look outside and see the entire area covered in snow. It's unusual since you live in a sunny place where it barely rains. The rings in the outer atmosphere are even bigger than last night. Out of nowhere, a truck filled with people pulls over and the driver tells you about a shelter some miles away. The truck is equipped for snowy conditions and you hop in with others, driving past abandoned cars and your snow-covered house. The shelter turns out to be a mall, with various stores turned into dorms and health units. You find yourself in a sports store with your sister. The professor is there, helping people. Suddenly, a loud explosion rocks the mall as a satellite falls from orbit and crashes outside. All communication is wiped out, and you retreat back into the mall. One year later, temperatures have dropped, causing an ice age. Deserts and tropical jungles have turned into icy wastelands, and much wildlife and trees have vanished. Oxygen levels have significantly decreased, and people rely on oxygen tanks. The rings are still present, but something else catches your attention rocks falling from the sky. You and everyone else rush back into the mall, which has been covered with metal to retain warmth. You feel hopeful that the Ice Age might soon be over as the rocks falling imply that the rings are dissipating. 